ALICE, a large ion collider experiment. Located at point two of the LHC, in the communes of Saint-Genis-Puy and Sergy, France, the ALICE detector is buried 50 meters below ground. It is 26 meters long, 16 meters high, 16 meters wide, and weighs 10,000 tons. Its main components are a central barrel and a single arm forward muon spectrometer. Alice was built and is operated by a collaboration of more than 1,000 physicists, engineers and technicians, including around 200 graduate students from 115 physics institutes in 30 countries across the world. The purpose of Alice is to study the quark gluon plasma, a state of matter which existed just after the Big Bang, when the universe was still extremely hot and dense. How? Thanks to the head-on collisions of beams of lead ions in the LHC that will generate temperatures more than 100,000 times hotter than the core of the sun. Physicists expect that under these conditions, the protons and neutrons will melt, freeing the quarks and the gluons that are bound together very tightly in the present universe conditions. This soup of free quarks and gluons, called the quark-gluon plasma, can only exist for a very short time. The physicists will observe how the quark-gluon plasma gives rise to the particles that constitute the matter of our universe today as it progressively expands and cools. Atlas Detector Located at point one of the LHC, 93 meters below Swiss territory in the commune of Meran, the Atlas detector is 46 meters long, 25 meters high and 25 meters wide, and weighs 7,000 tons. It is the largest volume particle detector ever constructed. Its main components are a central barrel and two huge end caps. More than 3,000 scientists from 174 institutes in 38 countries work on the ATLAS experiment. ATLAS is one of two general purpose detectors in the LHC. It investigates a wide range of physics, including the search for the Higgs boson, extra dimensions, and particles that could make up dark matter. ATLAS works by recording measurements on the particles created in collisions, such as their paths, energies, and their identities. It is accomplished in ATLAS through several different detecting subsystems that identify particles and measure their momentum and energy. It is accomplished in ATLAS through several different detecting subsystems that identify particles and measure their momentum and energy. Another vital element of ATLAS is the huge magnet system that bends the paths of charged particles for momentum measurement. The interactions in the ATLAS detector will create an enormous data flow. To digest these data, ATLAS needs a very advanced trigger and data acquisition system and a large worldwide computing system. CMS, Compact Muon Solenoid. Located at point five of the LHC, a hundred meters below French territory in the commune of Cessy, the CMS detector is 21 meters long 15 meters wide, 15 meters high, and weighs 14,000 tons. It is the heaviest particle detector ever constructed. Its main components are a central barrel and two huge end caps. 
More than 3,100 scientists and engineers work for CMS, from 169 institutes in 39 countries spanning Europe, Asia, the Americans and Australasia. The CMS experiment uses a general purpose detector to investigate a wide range of physics, including the search for the Higgs boson, extra dimensions and particles that could make up dark matter. Although it has the same scientific goals as the ATLAS experiment, it uses different technical solutions and design of its detector magnet system to achieve these. The CMS detector is built around a huge solenoid magnet, a cylindrical coil of superconducting cable that generates a magnetic field of 3.8 Teslas, about 100,000 times that of the Earth. An unusual feature of the CMS detector is that instead of being built in situ underground, like the other giant detectors in the LHC experiment, it was constructed on the surface before being lowered underground in 15 sections and reassembled. LHCB. Located at point 8 of the LHC, 100 metres below French territory in the commune of Ferny Voltaire, the LHCB detector weighs 4,500 tonnes and stretches for 20 metres along the LHC beam pipe. Instead of surrounding the entire collision point with an enclosed detector, the LHCB experiment uses a series of subdetectors to detect mainly forward particles. The first subdetector is mounted close to the collision point, while the next ones stand one behind the other over a length of 20 meters. About 700 scientists from 52 different universities and laboratories are involved in the project with support from many hundreds of other technicians and engineers. The aim of the LHCB experiment is to understand why we live in a universe that appears to be composed almost entirely of matter, but no antimatter, by investigating the slight differences between a type of particle called a beauty quark, or B quark, and its antimatter counterpart, the anti-B quark. These particles are formed by the colliding proton beams of the LHC inside the beam pipe. The detector is specifically designed to filter out these particles and the products of their decay. The detector's components gather information about the identity, trajectory, momentum and energy of each particle generated and can single out individual particles from the billions that spray out from the collision point.